Alright, how you guys doing today? So, we're getting even closer to Christmas, ever closer every day. So, beautiful tree in the background for now. We're going to get away from that in a second. But, what I want to talk about tonight is actually something most people won't get into too much. So, we're going to have some fun with this. When do you choose a frame color, or when you choose a frame, how do you choose a frame color? Some people don't. They just grab the basic black and call it a day. Some grab tortoise and it's done. And yeah, you can do that, but what's the fun in that, right? There's so many different shades, even in brown and black. If you want to stick with the basics, you can do it and have some fun with the color all day long. Now, obviously, I like a lot of color. My pearly blue frame you guys have seen a million times. My neon green, of course. This is a new one of the collection. I don't have my actual prescription lenses in it yet, so you won't see me wearing this for a while. That's why there's some glare on the lenses. It's just the stock demo. And that's okay. I can still wear it because it's cool. But again, super bright, super neon color. It's a ton of fun. It's not something a lot of people would pick up, and it's certainly not something people, everyone is bold enough to wear. Obviously, I am. I don't care. I just like something that works really well on me. This green, I actually ordered sight unseen except for a little picture sample. So there was a little bit of nerves there, but it came out incredible. You've got to admit, because of the way this color works throughout, really pops and creates a nice little bit of contrast. Now, that's what we're going to get into today. So actually, as far as frames go, you can go with a lot of different colors that you wouldn't expect because it's such a powerful accessory. It's a statement piece to the rest of your wardrobe. If you wear, especially like today, very basic, neutral colors, easy to add a nice accessory for that little snap of color. God, I love my snaps of color. Okay, but the main thing, you wanna work with your complexion just like you would any other accessory piece or something, especially in your wardrobe that you're gonna wear a lot of because glasses for the most part even if you have multiple pairs like me you're going to be wearing them every day so you want something that looks good right you don't want to look awful in your next pair of glasses so you want a color that works well maybe not something quite as snappy as this right <laughs> it's always that snappy for me sorry actually i have a piece coming at the end of this year that's neutrals that you guys are going to love too I'll get back to that, don't worry. So, skin tones, of course. If you don't know and understand the concept of colors, colorways, and skin tones, and how those all kind of play together, definitely make sure you have somebody that does because that is an important ingredient to a pair of glasses that looks nice. Now, like this pair of sunglasses, you'll see, I go straight for my classic, slightly warmer blues. This does that very well. You've got that nice, modest crystal blue. Still works really well with the underlying skin tone and hair color. Of course, my medium, yeah, very easy to work with colors here, guys. I, there's not much I can't put on, so I can't be a glorious help to you, but I'm gonna try, okay? Now, if you've got a complexion that isn't quite as forgiving or a darker complexion, you definitely want to lean a little bit more towards brighter colors because you do want to create some contrast and pop. And that's kind of the key. You have to have something that works with your complexion, but it sets off so you get that nice little bit of a detail on top of it. And I'm having to play with my colors on the screen now. Sorry about that if I made your world spin upside down or anything else. But the cool thing now, here's where we start to break the rules, right? Because a red is not something you would normally think with this kind of skin tone. You don't want to go with the red beard and a red frame. Normally it doesn't play well, but this frame has a lot of pop. It's got a lot of personality. It's snazzy. I actually love this frame for a host of reasons. Some people tell me I can't pull it off. To those people, I say, I don't care. I like it. I do. I'm gonna end up with that one one day. I don't know when, but I will. So, as an example of a color that doesn't work well, and I'm getting back to the underlying skin tones, I've got a little bit of warm, kind of a pinky color. It's not, there you go. There's the veins, you see? They've got just that little bit of a green cast to them. 
That's the reddish pinkish undertones in the skin showing through over that vein line. Now, I can't really pull off these medium oranges. As much as I love orange as a color in general, it just does not work for me because I've got that warmer tone to my skin to start with. And again, you want to contrast that. You want to really contrast that underlying skin tone. That's why these greens pop against the skin so well. And then, of course, the hair color really just goes so well with that. I'm in love with my new frame. Can you guys tell? That's my custom Leibach, by the way. Gotta throw that shout out in there. Now, as far as gun medals, this is one that actually trips a ton of people up. I see it wrong all the time. Gun metal is just your medium gray, right? Hard to get wrong, right? No, nope. wrong. It's super easy to get a gun metal wrong. Just like our skin, gun metals will often have a warm or a cool cast to them underneath that colorway. So this one, it has kind of that more cool blue gun metal look. Looks nice, right? Exactly. But you can get gun metals with the warm undertones. And here we go. It's just in the temple on this one, so it's going to be a little bit harder to display. Let's see. You've got that more warm yellow orangey cast to it. It doesn't create that nice pop of contrast. It doesn't really work quite as well. And that's a bad frame on me anyway, so I'm okay with that. I can live with that. Here's one where you can really see it. Just again, for demonstration, this is more of a yellow gold, but it demonstrates kind of that same effect because it is a little bit lighter color. You've got that nice warm undertone to what looks more like a silver base, right? So just very, Bleh. Very bleh. Versus back to the more cool. And like these silvers, same thing with silver. You've got to watch any of your silvers, gunmetals, warmer, cooler. You have to watch for that. And this is okay. It's not, not one of my favorites. I'm not a big silver guy. Maybe one day. I don't think I'm old enough for that yet. What do you guys think? Am I? Could be. I don't know. Then, there we go, yeah. So this, to contrast that earlier frame, you've got that warmer gunmetal tone. Hi, Harry. Huh? <laughs> oh, if I didn't have fun, you guys wouldn't like it. Now, here's where we'll go really crazy. This is all wrong in all the ways. It's the wrong shape, it's the wrong color. And for the fun of it, we're still gonna throw it on because we have a little Miss Pretty Cat Eye here with her nice cool silver and her beautiful blushy pink, which is all sorts of wrong for everything about me. Color-wise, skin-wise, shape-wise, it's all wrong. I can't do it, I'm sorry. I'll have fun with it anyways, but I just can't. Somebody out there can. Now, ooh, sorry. Blues. Oh, lovely blues. This frame is way too small for me. And it's all the cool. But, again, you've got the nice warm backing, the cooler blue to start with, a lot of pop, a lot of snazz. It's really cool, right? It loves that one. That frame is not going to last long there. But, anyways, so that's kind of a brief overview of the way this works and i'm sorry i'm walking around a lot today i'm probably making your head spin i'm getting even worse with it now just because i'm talking about it it made me want to spin the phone even more so i'm sorry but that gives you a good start at what to look for when it comes to skin tones colorways in your hair and in the frame and how to make them play together and even work with your wardrobe a little bit better so for the next pair of glasses you're looking into You've got a little bit more help if you're not one of the lucky people that gets to come here and see me. If you're not, I recommend it. <laughs> I'll catch you guys next time.